it's like any sport, you know, surfers call catching waves like a drug, you know, ultra marathon runners call uh, endurance, ultra marathon running, it's a, 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 a drug for them. And I guess a part of that addiction, a part of that drug is how much harder can I push myself? Not many people who live in Hong Kong have attempted the Hong Kong Fortress Ultra Challenge. And probably because they know how hard it is and how hard these individual trails are to do them one on their own. But to string them into one series of four really, really makes it hard. Yeah, I'm a big believer that anybody can take on these big things. It just takes a little bit of courage, taking that first step and embracing those feelings. Yeah. Keep moving. Will you? Sorry? Will you keep running? I'll do my best. Okay. <laughs> The unique thing about the four trails, it doesn't have a blueprint yet, like on how you should do it. To finish under the 60 hours is more about the mind, more about the psychology, more about stubbornness, just dealing with the pain. I nearly called you and said, come and get me. I like vomiting. Just called Andre because I've got an injury and he said it would be okay to get some outside help to tape it or else I'll be pulling out. It's a very long time, 60 hours. Your demons, sleep monsters will be there to, to really torture your soul. It's 298 kilometers. Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs>